you grow up and you know your parents and everything they're superheroes and they're the strongest person and you think oh this never can happen to us you know this is stuff you see on tv and stuff and then when you see it happen to you it's it becomes real and then it's like okay what do i do I will never get better. Once it's spread like it has spread on me, there's no sur surgery and everything very seldom. It's, it's too diffuse, it's everywhere. She came back from Houston and I'm like, okay, well I've gotta go back to work so I tried to find a job again. I went back to school again. I went back into 18 hours. I've made, somehow made A's every semester except for in 2013 when I took one online class when it was Pan Am and I gotta be. Working with her, I saw that she was very involved in community, didn't have a problem volunteering, juggled her full-time you know, commitment to school and her full-time commitment to taking care of her mother and doing that commitment to the community. So I knew there was something there about her, yeah. Megan is one of those students that stands out in my career, one of the students who is just a real example of, uh, of, of a student who takes challenges and is challenged in life and just really works through them and rises to the occasion. She's got a strength that I think uh, a lot of uh, young adults really want to have but can't have or do not have yet. Uh, I had a student that had a health condition and the student discussed it with the class, you know, just to, the, to, 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 just to let the, the students know what might happen. Megan assigned herself and sat next to that student in case anything ever happened. And she assigned herself and said, I used to be a nursing, uh, I'm a caregiver, uh, don't worry about it, I'll take care of you. And I could see that the student felt at peace. They sat together all the time, but this was Megan on her own doing that, and I, I, I found that impressive. She's amazing to me. I don't know how she does it. She's such a, she's, she's incredibly intelligent, but she's emotionally intelligent. I would like to say I'm surprised that, but I'm not. This has always been Megan. I'm grateful she's going to be in this in the school environment especially for students you know her hopefully the students will latch on to her personality and her belief system and they will mimic her that she will be the role model and so it will inspire students that may be going through the same thing or they may have a grandparent or an aunt or uncle whatever and that they can look to her for guidance, but also latch on to that personality of commitment, of commitment and saying, you know, if she could make it, I can do it too. Is it gonna be hard? Absolutely. Is it worthwhile? Yes, it is. Right. I want people to know that you can keep going and that you can't give up and that it isn't the end of the world and that you'll be okay it, it might seem bad and there's going to be horrible, horrible days where you're going to want to give up, but you can push through it. I submitted my application to graduate in January. Of course, they cut off our clinical teaching early because of COVID. So, but they said as long as we did 35 days and did the work that we're fine. So I've done the work already and I think I did like 42 plus days. So apparently we're good to go. We're just kind of waiting to see where we go from here. It's a little overwhelming going from being in college to, okay, now you're an adult, like go start your career. It's, it's a little surreal. I'm super excited to get started. I'm so proud of her. She's the shining light in my life. And I, I'm so, so proud of her. I've always known these things, but to have other people see him so shine so brightly from her. And you do see it because she is a good woman. She is a strong woman. She's a smart woman, but she cares. And I'm so proud of the woman that she is. And I'm proud that I had, 
I was able to be such a part of her life. And I, she makes me proud every day of her life, every day.